Hi, my name is Wes and I'm with Myla. Today, I'm in the Myla workshop in Hamburg, Germany, where we're gonna be doing an automatic transmission service on the C-Class Mercedes. Now, it's got a 9G Tronic with a 725.0 transmission. Now, there are a couple of interesting things that need to be done to this transmission in order to do the service properly. And so we will show you that. And uh, also, I need to tell you that before I pulled the car into the shop, I took it on a test drive, it's shifting fine. And I've also scanned it with our scan tool and there are no codes. So we're good to start this uh, service. So come along with us as we do this service on this car. Now that I've gotten the car up on the lift, I've removed the plastic panel in order to gain access to the transmission. I've also removed the rubber plug from the bell housing and I've turned the engine until I can see the drain plug for the torque converter. But before we start draining oil, Let's head over to the bench and I'll show you some special tools that you'll need to do the job properly. The tools that you will need are pretty simple and they should be readily available. First, you'll need this cup to remove the drain plug. You'll need this hex key in order to move the tubes into the correct position for draining and filling. And you will need this adapter in order to refill the transmission with oil. The Myla kit will come with everything you need in order to do the job properly. The filters are pre-installed, as is the gasket and the magnets. Now the two tubes will need to be snapped into place, which I've already done. The tall skinny one is for ultrasonic testing, which we won't be doing today, but it's still a good idea to put it into place. And this other tube has four positions that open windows in order to do different tasks. Once we remove the drain plug, we will need our hex key in order to get our tube into the correct position. The tube that is already installed in the car will be in position one. And you can see how the windows are already closed. In order to drain the fluid, we will put it into position four, which open the bottom windows to drain out the old oil. Now, once we install our new pan, we will fill it up in position one. Once we have it full, we will check the oil level in position three. You can see how position three opens just the top window. Now we are ready to remove the old oil from the transmission. I'll start by removing the drain plug. I'll put the pipe into position four. I'll remove the drain plug from the torque converter. And then I will start removing bolts for the oil pan so it can be removed. Now that the torque converter has finished draining, we will replace the torque converter plug, torque it to 10 Newton meters. We will replace the oil pan, torque those bolts to four Newton meters plus 90 degrees starting from the outside corners, working your way inwards in a crossing fashion. Now that we have everything reassembled and torqued properly, I have removed the new drain plug from the new pan. I have installed our filling plug. Now into our filling plug, I was able to use the 7G Tronic filling pipe from the Myla kit. And I've also attached the Myla transfer pump to that. We are going to pre-fill it with 10 liters because remember, our torque converter is also empty. And don't forget to replace the rubber plug. Now that I have pre-filled the transmission with oil, we will need to do what Mercedes calls a valve flushing. Essentially, it's bleeding the valves in the mechatronic. So with my scan tool, I will go into valve flushing, click start. It's asking me for ignition on, engine on, and press and hold the brake pedal. All right, now we have the engine on. It's running through some checks. It would like me to put the car into neutral, so bump it into neutral, click OK. Battery voltage, engine speed, everything OK. Now, you may have felt that there was a little bit of a bump right before that. Outside of the car, you should have hear, heard a little bit of clicking sound from the valves. Now our valve flushing is complete. The transmission is finally up to temperature, which right now it's at 38 degrees Celsius. It needs to be roughly be between 35 and 45 degrees Celsius. So now I can disconnect my tools and put the pipe into position three to let the excess oil drain out. Now with the pipe into position one, I will move it to position three. To check the level of the transmission, the engine needs to be running for this process. That keeps a lot of the oil up in the transmission where it belongs and not settled down in the pan. So once this 
comes to a slight dribble, I will turn the tool back to position one, put the plug back in, and now it's ready. <laughs> Keep in mind, this was all done with the Mila kit, all of the parts that you needed, and you saw that it wasn't all that difficult. So until next time, we'll see you from the Mila shop in Hamburg, Germany. Thank <laughs> you.